Hello everyone, my name is Eva Gamis. I'm coming from uh, Euroliage, based in Brussels, and I'm going to talk to you today about the EU ETS Directive. This stands for the European Union Emissions Trading Scheme Directive, which is really the cornerstone of the European Union's climate policy. So this is also what the first slide says here. It's really the cornerstone because the whole European climate policy is based around uh, is based upon this uh, this piece of legislation, as I will explain a little bit later. And this piece of legislation is also very important for all the installations uh, in the European Union that is hovering, which is a lot of installations. And the concrete consequences uh, account, for instance, for a huge financial impact, impact on CO2 emissions, but also has an impact on European uh, uh, member states' budgets. So here today we are going to discuss first of all the origins and then the context of the UETS directive to explain to you a little bit how this directive has uh, come to, to, to reality and what has been uh, what have been the reasons to have this kind of instrument cover this kind of sectors. Then we are going to uh, dive into the presentation of the directive itself with the legal text with the concrete functioning of the scheme, also explaining uh, the economic impact and some perspectives. In the same fashion, we are going to look into some international aspects and also into the relationship with, of the UETS directive with some other policies. 